to Dewey's 24 hour readathon for October 2017. The readathon has officially started, and in this video, I thought I would share with you some of the cool things that's happening during the readathon and some of the websites and the links that you can use in order to participate. Of course, you can participate as much as you want or as little as you want. If you don't know what Dewey's readathon is, it is a readathon that happens twice a year, usually in April and in October. And the cool thing is we all start at the same time and we all read for 24 hours. So the really exciting thing is that there are hourly discussions. So every hour on the Goodreads page, there's going to be a type of bookish or reading prompt question discussion that you can go and participate in and we've got lovely volunteers that are going to be co-moderating those hourly discussion threads. We also have reading sprints every four hours, hour one, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and 24. And what a reading sprint is, is basically for that hour, just try and shut everything off and read for as much as you can. Of course, you still go participate in maybe the hourly discussion really quick, and then once you're done with that, go ahead and turn everything off and read as much as you can. There are also going to be mini challenges throughout the 24 hours, and you can find these challenges on the main Dewey's 24-hour readathon webpage, which, which I will link down below. These challenges are basically fun, interactive challenges where you can just take a break from reading and do something different. So I really hope you are able to participate in those. There's also many social platforms in order to interact for this readathon. We've got Twitter, we have Instagram, there's a Facebook page, Goodreads of course, and then the main page. I think that's all. The links will be all down below. If you go to the Goodreads page and you go into the readathon time, there's going to be multiple links in that discussion thread. The hourly sprints are going to be on there and then also there is a TBR and vlogging thread. So if you plan on vlogging your readathon experience after the readathon, go ahead and go post that there. Also, if you have a TBR list that you have filmed, like if YouTube is your social platform, go ahead and link your video in that discussion thread so we can all go see your video. Now, there's also another discussion thread which is under general and in that thread you can post it's um it's like a blogging thread you can post your blog so that we can all go see your blog and if you don't have like a you know youtube channel or a blog then there is a thread it is called for the blog list and it is a little bit further down on the goodreads page and there you can create your own little discussion thread with your name and you know use that as a way to keep track of your progress. Also on Goodreads, there is a discussion post that says currently reading and books completed. So go ahead and let us know what you're reading throughout the readathon and then once you've completed that book, go ahead and put the book that you've completed under the completed book section. And the last thing I want to discuss in the, this video is my TBR. Now I am such a big mood reader. I try to stick to TBRs and usually I can stick to like one or two books that I have chosen. I have a few books that I have picked out for this readathon that I'm hoping I will be able to read. The first one is going to be easy. It's a graphic novel. It is Dracula by Bram Stoker and it is illustrated by Matt Paget. I've never read Dracula and I think it is kind of the perfect time to read it during this readathon because it's October, it's close to Halloween, and it is a graphic novel so it'll be a nice short read. Next I have Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I am almost halfway through it. I started this book a few months ago and I really need to finish it. It is an adult fantasy about assassins. It's a little violent, a little gory, definitely adult content, but I'm really enjoying it, so hopefully I can just sit down and finish it during this readathon. The next book I have on my list is Harry Potter and the Pro Prisoner of Azkaban, the illustrated edition by Jim Kay, and of course this is by J.K. Rowling, and I this is probably the first book that I plan on picking up. Look at this, and because so far my TBR is mainly like fantasy, I might pick up Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is my favorite 
young adult contemporary novel. I absolutely love it. Our main character, she's going on her first year to college and she's having trouble kind of adapting to college life and she writes fan fiction for her favorite series, Simon Snow series, which is our version of Harry Potter. This might be a good one to turn to from, you know, all of the fantasy books that I've already chosen. Alright guys, well that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are excited about the readathon as I am. Make sure you come join us on the main page, Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and good luck reading! Bye!